que nada Sai de minha frente que eu quero passar Pois o samba está animado O que eu quero é samba That's fine, it's already got a few O's. Aiden, let's forget about the anchor for the moment. I'm just going to hold it in my hand, is that enough? Or... Okay, you've got a reef about 30 metres that way. Only one problem on some of these beautiful islands, and that's that they have midges. Well, around here they call them noceums because they're so tiny you hardly see them. This solution: you just hang out. The water is super warm in the shallows, and it's very relaxing.
there's two big lobsters under this shelf. Have a look. The locals have come around and are selling us some local produce. Eggs, pineapples, melons, tomatoes. Watermelon. Aguamelon. Right, we are restocked. That was very reasonable as well. So no cracks was, in the eggs. Yeah, no, you checked every egg. It was $14.50 for eggs, veggies, fruits. Lots of stuff. Well, There's a dolphin over there. I spotted it. Yes, well done, Aiden. Our neighbours have come around and they've said there's a croc swimming around. Probably more of a caiman, but I'm gonna go and try and find it. I think the croc's taken a bite out of your shirt, Phil. <laughs> There's our French neighbours with the fluoro tops. So they've taken it upon themselves to notify everyone about the croc. Like, stay out of the water, but to fill that means go and find it. And plus the ones in Australia are six meters. I want to find the one in They did say it was a little croc. And they don't eat people around here. Crocs aren't harmless. They just go on your feet and you walk around with them. Oh. <laughs> croc shoes. Find a crocodile. It's a bit shy. 
but I did score a couple of lobsters from some people who did the arc with us. Wow. So Marcella from Adele. No. So Marcella from Adele just caught them and so we've got two, they're not huge, but there you go, some lobsters. Barbie. And things always taste better on the Barbie. Okay, so fresh lobster. So we had a barbecue. Folks, you may have noticed those lobsters are too small. Fully aware of that. I'm quite upset that the folks on Adele took them. But they did. They're dead now. And Phil may as well enjoy them for dinner. So that's what he's going to do. We're done. You know? Yeah. Look at this. Okay, I know they're small, but seared to perfection. If you may say so yourself. If I may say so myself. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really good. idyllic but there's something that's a little bit worrying, a little bit sad here. Apparently the islands are slowly disappearing because of climate change. Both the sea level rise and storms become more violent. And so you can see these palm trees are being eroded into the water. And when they go then the sand starts to go, the waves eat away the island. Eric Bauhaus, who writes the guide for this area, has noticed these changes. He's been coming here for 40 years and he has had to revise the charts to actually basically erase some islands and just make them uh, obstructions in the water now. A cruise has just arrived. Not something I expected around here, but I guess with a place as idyllic as this, not really surprised that they finally made the way over here. One thing the expedition cruise is doing is bringing water for the locals. Considering how dry it is and how little water there is, it's uh, yeah, makes sense. Those boys are having fun. I predict that Aiden is going to make some new friends. I don't get to do that. You can if you want. You might even get to do it on their boat. Kiwis. Kiwis. That means. Grey boat Adele Aussie, white cat Kiwis, this boat Kiwis, and us Aussies. This is our neck of the woods. Oceanus. Last night was interesting. This is now the calm after the storm. We had our first big rain. 
So apart from some sprinkles here and there, we've had no rain the last few months. And so this would seem to mark the start of the wet season. So we are timing our canal crossing a little later than most end of April. Most of our folks, most of our friends we've met along the way have gone through in January, February, March. Uh, and middle of the wet season here, when most of the people we met at the swimming pool go home to the States or, or elsewhere, is marked by violent storms. Like, apparently very um, spectacular but damaging li lightning storms, thunderstorms. So uh, last night we actually ended up putting our electronics in the oven. The oven acts as a Faraday cage. Uh, it was just sheet lightning, but you know, don't know if it's going to turn into something more to um, bolt lightning. Last night a few boats came in that we've just become friends with. Over there is the boat Infinity, a French a bunch of kids. Over there is a kiwi boat behind this cat called Rogue and over there is called the Larrikin which could only be either kiwi or Australian. It turns out that they're kiwis. As we were to find out, the skipper of Rogue, Josh Tucker, is one of the most famous sailors in the South Pacific or at least the way he talks about it. A sail maker for a number of the big brands over the years, he made the sails for Alex Thompson and his open 60 yacht Hugo Boss. He tested them with Thompson around Cape Horn where they were demastered. He's also a mad keen racer. Here we are. Another glamour day on the Hugo Boss 2007 Transpac. The boys working hard down there. I'm just sifting up here. Glamour day, breeze is built all day. Not do, doing too bad in the fleet. 12 months earlier, he and his family, Sarah and their three kids, packed up, bought Rogue and sailed from the Med on the way to cross the Pacific. We were just wallowing along downwind about seven, seven and a half knots boat speed. Feast in the middle of the Atlantic on a racing boat. First time we've touched the sails and me and Nate are about to try a game of chess. Um, so we've got a 50% chance that this is going to end up down there, but we'll Eight, give it a go. 799 to go. Is there something behind it? No, no clue on that one. All clued out. 799 miles to go. What do you think of that? We're going snorkeling? Um, yeah. yeah, probably. into the Pacific through the canal in the next two or three weeks. Rogue over there is coming through and heading straight for New Zealand by the end of the season. Infinity, actually I'm not sure where they're going but they're definitely heading across the Pacific. And Larrikin, 
are also heading across, but they're taking two seasons. They're going to stop in Tahiti uh, and haul out there and then continue going to New Zealand the year after. You find it? No, we're going to do one more pass. We did find two eagle rays and a shark. Yeah, we found two eagle rays and a shark. And an squid. Yeah, and an oh. squid, that's right. So, we found two eagle rays and a shark. We found one more kid. Oh, okay. that's good. We're off, we've led the Hollanders and we're going to Chichimay, which by all accounts everyone says is fantastic. But we're going to stop off at Dog Island first, which has got a wreck and we're going to do a bit of a snorkel around it. If you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to follow our adventures.